Hi there, and welcome to my Vimeo channel, Valinda Yoga. Thank you so much for signing up for this meditation. So we did eight 40 day meditations last year, and we are on our sixth one this year, going into our seventh one. So really creating daily habits, adding these promoting habits is what helps us. So I'm the owner of SouthBayYogiNews.com. If you don't know who I am, I'm Valinda Coquella, and I've been uh, practicing yoga since 1994 and teaching since 2000. And it's my passion to help you really find little yoga hacks, little ways you can add to your daily routine that help you calm your nervous system, be more present, be more centered, stop yelling at your kids, stop freaking out on the freeways. And really that's the gift of Kundalini yoga and meditation. So did you know 2.4 million people suffer with panic and anxiety disorder in the United States? One of the top 10 reasons for going to the emergency room, which costs thousands of dollars here in the United States is panic attacks. People think they're having heart attacks when it's really panic attack. So I have generalized anxiety disorder. I've had anxiety my whole life and I used to have panic attacks. This meditation will help you if you add it into your daily habits and it only takes three minutes. So I promise if you commit to three minutes a day, it can change your life. So let's jump right in this meditation for panic attacks and anxiety, which has helped me so much in my life. And I have one woman who's done this uh, meditation for almost a year in my group. Definitely get in my Facebook group for daily support, conversations with my soul sisters, Kundalini Yoga, meditation and wellness. And we will support you every day in doing your daily practice, even if it's three minutes. So this meditation is only three minutes, the meditation for panic attacks and anxiety. So what you're gonna do, first we're gonna tune in. So Ang Namo, Guru Dev Namo. I bow to that infinite creative consciousness that lies within myself. So we're not praying to anything outside of us. We're not doing anything um, weird. So I just want you to just think about you're working on your nervous system. So we're gonna chant Ang Namo, Guru Dev Namo. Three times. So you're pressing the tongue at the roof of the mouth when you chant Ong. So you're going to feel that vibration. And really, Kundalini Yoga is the yoga of angles. Make sure you check out my Seven Secrets to Kundalini Yoga Revealed because it really talks about the scientific reasons we do the postures, yoga of angles, pressure points, working on the nervous system, working on the meridian. So if you're really interested in going deep, this is the practice for you. So I hope you'll be joining it, me and all my online stuff. So we're going to tune in Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo three times, bowing to that infinite creative consciousness that lies within each of us, pressing the thumbs into the center of the chest. Eyes are gazing up, so we're affecting pituitary gland secretions, master gland in charge of the hormones, and just come into long, deep breath. Filling your lungs. Two more. And here we go to tune in. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo three times. Big inhale. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Inhale and hold the breath, gaze up. Hold the breath, fill your lungs, distribute that pranic energy to every cell in your body. See all your cells smiling and exhale, relax. And here we go. We're going to be listening to triple mantra. So I also teach mantras in my group for Mantra Monday. Every week we work on a new mantra. So definitely check out how mantras can affect your nervous system. Um, so it's basically just a sound vibration. We call it the Shabad Guru. So that which takes us from darkness to light is Guru. It's not a person. Um, so Guru and Kundalini are the teachings and the practice. So you're going to bring your right palm of your right hand to the back of the left hand and just bring the hands right in front of the chest, just a few inches out in front of the chest. You're actually going to press the thumb. So the thumbs represent the ego. Each finger actually represents something. And if you want to go deeper into this, definitely check out my online courses because you're going to learn about all of this stuff. It's just amazing. So the yogis, uh, really Yogi Bhajan is the one who brought us this practice. So you're going to press the palms just a few inches from the chest. So you see my hands are, you know, kind of comfortably at my side. It's not way out or anything. It's just a few inches from the chest and you're pressing the palms. So this is my right hand pressing into the back of my left hand 
thumbs touch. Your eyes are going to gaze up, but they're going to be one tenth open. So you're going to kind of see the whites of my eyes. My daughter always makes fun of me because she said it looks so weird. <laughs> so we're going to be listening to triple mantra. Triple mantra is a mantra that really breaks through any block that you have. It clears the clouds of doubt and it gets you centered and gets you ready for your day. So this is a great thing to do. First thing in the morning, sit up in bed and do this meditation. We're going to be here for three minutes. So make that commitment for three minutes. And I have my trusty timer. I will set eyes are gazing up one tenth open, pressing the thumbs and you're going to inhale for as long as you can. And then hold for about 15 or 20 seconds as best as you can. And then you're going to exhale. Hold the breath out. So we're working on the heart valve. This really works on your nervous system, calming your nervous system. And you're going to hold the breath out for 15 to 20 seconds. And that's the whole meditation for three minutes. So inhale, hold the breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then exhale, hold the breath out. And that's it. And I'm going to coach you through it. So let's get triple mantra going and let's, let's jump in. Set yourself, get ready, right palm, pressing left palm, thumbs touch, a few inches from your chest, eyes are gazing up, nine tenths open. So you can have a little slit. If it's too uncomfortable, don't worry about it. Just close the eyes and gaze up. We're affecting the pituitary gland secretion, master gland in charge of the hormones. And here we go. Inhale. Inhale. 
palm comes touch rest for 30 seconds still is a pond. Feel the changes taking place. We must deactivate the central nervous system to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Whatever you practice is what you master. Remember that. So if we're practicing stress and our cortisol levels raised all day, that's what we're mastering. We want to do the opposite. So I would love, love, love to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's chant along Satnam, which means truth is my name. Big inhale. Satnam. Truth is my name. Truth is your name. Still your mind. Open your heart, speak your truth, and live your dreams. And I hope I can help you. Thanks so much. Bye. See you in the group.